Ready to talk some roster construction? I'm ready to roll. Initial. Initial, Initial. roster Initial, yeah. I put that in the tweet. Well, that's, you know, the thing is, it, it's a truth because of the way the schedule is now. You've got a whole week um, with all the different rules. You know, you get the 16-person the practice squad. You get the 54th, 55th spot. You can, and there's a lot of flexibility, and you have a whole week to kind of prepare. So I think you'll see a lot of roster manipulation the whole week from the league. Sure. Um, again, everything's fluid. Uh, nothing's set in stone, and we'll monitor, you know, everything all week. And really, nothing finalizes until we go into late next week before we get ready for Philly. But on quarterbacks, you've obviously seen a lot of light from from those two guys, from Josh and Felipe. What have you seen that lets them being on? I know things can be fluid, but what have you seen from those two guys? Well, uh, you know, we, we had two uh, different plan of attacks the other night with those guys. Um, like I said, I mean, obviously we need to score more points, but the, but the objective that night to get them to operate, um, you know, how to, how to call the game with them. They're, they were in two different points of their career and really in this training camp because Felipe had been with us, Josh, we had just signed, stating the obvious there, and uh, pretty pleased with both of them. But, again, it's a fluid situation. We'll continue to monitor, uh, you know, the, the rest of the league because the rosters aren't really fully set. Yeah, again, a couple things. Um, without obviously giving away our strategy, I mean, you'll see a lot of things happen in the next couple of days, um, different reasons. Uh, it's really tough. Guys, and in, in, for example, a guy in the Willie Beaver spot, uh, you know, he started off, he had a strong camp, but still, you know, it's just a lot of different factors go into why we did this, made the decisions we did. But things can change in the next couple of days, and there's a rhyme and reason to it, and it'll all play out. Sure. Um, what was it like for you going through it in this role for the first time? Yeah, they're 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 not easy conversations. I mean, the thing is, is you you, um, you have a lot of appreciation for the guys that come out here. I mean, it's the NFL. Like I said, coaches and players are not victims. We know what we signed up for, but there is a human element to it, and I have a great appreciation for the guys that put a lot into it and how they worked out here. So they're they're hard conversations, and every conversation we'll have with these players, um, we'll be honest the way we see it. And, and there's a right way to do it, and that's what Terry and I will always do here as long as I'm standing up here. So, yeah, but not, not, not an easy day. With Terry and a part time going through this day with him, can you kind of just talk about what the last 24 hours have been like for y'all getting on the same page, making decisions on Yeah, you know, that, with Terry and I, I mean, that started back in January. Um, we've made a lot of decisions, obviously, that led up to this point. Uh, we've got a really good football staff, and it's not just Terry and I. You know, obviously, you know we we know the roles we're in, but uh, it's an inclusive process, uh, collaborative effort from from the personnel side to the coaching side, and we've got to make the best decisions for what we feel for the Falcons. So, um, pretty easy working with Terry. You know, it's, it's it's like every relationship, no different than working with Matt Ryan or working with Dave Ragone or Dean Pease. You work on that every day. The communication is important, and we we have a strategy. And we're trying to stick to it. Obviously, we can adapt if certain things come up, but uh, very, very smooth process. Yeah, and today's a little bit different, right? Um, we played Sunday night, and so today, this week is technically a bye week in the NFL, and so we weren't going to practice yesterday because we played late Sunday night. Um, at the end of the week, again, it, they, you know, they, they bargain it, they deserve it. It's, they got three days off. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we need to get some work in, and so we, uh, you know, we didn't we didn't bring up everybody out here. We had to make roster moves by four o'clock. Um, we'll see how tomorrow goes. We'll practice a little bit later. You hope to have some of the practice squad guys back, and again, that's all in flux and a couple things. You know, might not be the full roster again tomorrow, but you just plan out. You limit the reps. That's what we try to do today. That's why it's a quicker practice. Yeah, so in the, you know how everybody's doing it a little bit. I'm sure everybody's got a different philosophy. So if you, people wanted to start now uh, implementing their game plan, you may see some teams do that. Um, you know, if you use it as an extra training camp week, as you're filling out the roster, I'm sure you'll see teams do that. And then 
really, no matter how much you put into the plan in this week, next week it really cranks up. It's just inevitable. Uh, you almost feel like it's a bowl game because there's you got two weeks to go, and you try not to overthink everything going into it. But it, they'll feel a lot different next next Wednesday. Yeah, it, you know we'll we'll continue to look at things that come up, possible roster wise. I, I, obviously, probably just about every coach in the, in the league, everybody um, will be their mind will be on week one, and so. That was pretty much where my focus is at. You feel like, just generally speaking, as you move throughout the course of this camp and this preseason, that, that, that your coaches, and you saw a development from this entire group, and you sure. saw this group get better, which maybe made some personal difficult choices down the line. Yeah, and, that, and that's what we wanted to. I mean, like we talked about it all along. I mean, the strategy. Like, we're, we're in year one. Um, obviously, we're, we're a new staff. We had a lot of roster movement. Uh, we wanted there were certain guys we felt good about. They proved it in camp. There's other guys we really needed to see play, and we think it'll it'll pay off for us as the year goes on. And that's the some of the things. I mean, you, you know, you you sacrifice those, some things short term, um, not an excuse. You know, we 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 expect to score more points than we we did, but you do sacrifice some things short term for long term gain, and that, that's been our focus. And obviously, we'll see over the 17 next 17 or excuse me. Uh, 18 weeks after this week, how it plays out. All right, thank you all.